Ready? You have to... So now we're going to chain it off. Right. We're going to chain it off. You have to loosen this. And see how I've just turned it up a little bit? I have to get some slack in here. Remember, I didn't get a tie on this one. So I want to get a tie on that one before I chain it off. Because this is the bottom of my warp. But I needed a little slack. So loosening this on one side is how you get yourself a little slack. All right, now I'm going to take it off. Did you tie that tight? Yes, like, like I tied that tight. Like not tight, tight? Just tight, tight. Just tight. Okay, I'm going to put that back right quick. Love the fact that these have wing nuts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start chaining. So I'm going to stick my hand up here, grab it, pull it through. Grab it. Like crochet stitches. Yep. Pull it through. <clears throat> Grab it. Pull it through. Grab it. Pull it through. I'm keeping some tension on it so that I can go round and round and round and round hmm. and round and round. Now, at this point, <clears throat> oh, fooey. I grabbed the guide string. So we will, you will not do that. That's right. You can just, cut, just that cut that off, it. right? Yeah, it. you can just cut it. You don't need that second. <clears throat> well, you will, but. We'll make another one. For we can make another one. Yeah. All right. So now that I have these two ends, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is bring them together. See, this is my chaining. This is my chaining. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning. Right. I'm going to bring them together. And I'm going to tie them just like this. And I'm going to put a bow. This is important, silly as it sounds. I'm going to put a bow up here, just like that. Now this warp chain is ready to go. You can throw it in a bag, and it could be Christmas before you come back to it. And it will still be in perfect order and ready to put on your loom. And it won't fall apart. If I had left this untied, let me show you what would happen. You toss it in a bag, and when you pick it up, boo, it all ends up on the floor. So, and the reason I put a bow there is because when you've got 15 of these in your bag or on your shelf, you know, you're sitting around one day and you have a color inspiration and you just grab some yarn and chain off a three yard warp and you say, I'm going to use that someday. When you throw this on your shelf or in your bag or whatever, you're going to know the minute you pick it up that this is not the end you start with. This is the end you start with. Hmm.